Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So in this session, I will be solving the problem on Latin square, which is uh, comes under uh, module 5 for uh, 2022 scheme of uh, third semester mathematics. So this question has been asked in your uh, model question paper. So the, the question as follows, analyze and interpret the following the statistics concerning output of wheat per field obtained as a result of experiment in conducting to test four varieties conducting a test on four varieties of wheat like a b c and d under a latin square design so this is what the ta tabulation they have been provided for uh, this is what the observation they are made uh, per land and uh, according to the wheat called a b c d so this is what uh, we have the data using this data we need to solve the problem so moving on to the solution part first we need to define null hypothesis so i have defined null hypothesis h not as what there is no significant difference between rows and columns and varieties here we need to uh, we need to find out uh, uh, f ratio test according to rows columns and varieties i need to find the f ratio uh, showing that there is no difference or there is a difference between rows between columns and between varieties okay so here first of all i am identifying uh, number of rows number of columns and number of observations number of varieties here so in the given uh, tab tabulation we have c here column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 I have four columns and rows R1, R2, R3, R4. So I have four rows. I have four rows and varieties A, B, C, D. Four varieties and number of observation as it is a uh, square matrix, square. So 4 cross 4, 4 rows, 4 columns, it will be 4 into 4, which is equal to number of observation is 16 observation we have. So therefore, number of column is 4, number of rows is 4, number of observation is 16, number of varieties is 4. Looking at the given data, I have note down the values of C, R, N, B. So this problem can be done by a coding method or non-coding method. First, I am solving by coding method. In uh, in future, I will be solving the problem, uh, this VM problem without uh, coding method also. If which one you feel comfortable, you can solve by that method. So, by coding method, we subtract or we divide or we multiply or we can add whatever. So, that is what coding method we can, we are do, doing here. I am subtracting the value uh, each square by 20. Each square value by 20. Why I need to subtract by 20 means here the highest value is 25 here. So more than that there is no other value. So all the values are less than 25. So if I take the average of highest value and least value it will come around the 20s. So I am going with in terms of uh, subtracting in terms of 10s. So, I, so for that reason I have considered 20 here and I am subtracting each value by 20. So therefore for the first column or first row 25 minus 20 that is what I have done 25 minus 20 will be 5 here similarly the second uh, uh, value is 19 minus 20 19 minus 20 19 minus 20 will be minus 1 similarly go on finding all the values that is what I have done up to the 16th observation so then I am going to find out the sums of square sums of this whole row, each row and each column, each column elements. I am going to do that as we do, uh, do in one way or two way ANOVA. Same thing I have done. So in this case, the uh, according to the row, I have represented by T, sum of 5 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 will be 8. 8 square will be, this is what 8 square, squaring that value. I am going to get 64 and this xi square is nothing but so this is nothing but 34 how I have, I'm going to get 34 means just squares of I have explained in one way and over sums of squares of each 
observation in that row or column. So you can go with either column or row. So I have considered in terms of row here. So therefore, uh, 5 square plus 3 square plus 0 square plus 0 square. So totally 25 plus uh, 9 will be 34. So similarly, I am going to add this uh, second uh, row. So and I am going to get uh, the value as uh, minus 3. So minus 3 the whole square minus 3 the whole square will be equal to 9 and square of each value will be sum and square of each value will be 7 like that I am going to do uh, so further I am going to get a summation of the add these values add all these values I am going to get summation of the uh, that is what minus 12 I have got and summation of x i square I am going to ca calculate so I have got 122 122 so similarly uh, go with the p, p and p square so if you want to calculate if you want to know how to calculate uh, the tabulation here i will explain how to calculate uh, the tabulation go for uh, setup go for uh, stats in that uh, one minus variance first uh, just i will show how, how i find out t t square and x i square i will explain you first so that is what i am going to do only first uh, one row I will show you to you. So the first row is of uh, 5, enter the value 5, 3, 0, 0. This is what I have. So press AC, consider shift 1. So in that sum, press sum 3. So in that consider 2 summation x that gives t value. So which is equal to 8. Square of that 2, find out square of that, press square here answer square you are going to get that is what 64 we have so then how to find out x i square means press a c press, go with the same procedure shift 1 go with sum i need to find out x i square for that reason i will consider 1 that is uh, this part i am going to consider summation of x i x i square so press 1 so equal to i got 34 that is what the value x i square x 1 square i can name that as. So similarly you can find out uh, p, p and p square. So after getting this, after getting this part we will move on to the finding SSC, SSR, SSP, all those things. So SSC is nothing but along the column we have. So summation of p i square, summation of p i square divided by c i minus t square by n. How I have uh, written this formula by using the handbook. So they have provided handbook for you people. So you can make use of uh, uh, handbook there. So they have been provided uh, these formulas. So you can go through the handbooks. So summation of pi square divided by ci minus t square by e, capital N. Uh, already note down uh, the c value. C uh, I need to find out ci value and uh, n value. Already I have note down capital N. CI, what is the CI means? This is what a CI. So as we are finding P I square. So along that uh, column, how many elements you have been added? So I have been added C1, C here, C1, C2, C3, C4. So four elements have been added. That is four observation have been added. So that's why I am going to divide here by four. Here also we have made four observation in the along the second column. Along the third column also four observation we have made. Along the fourth column also we have made four observation. So each column means each p i values has been uh, divided by four here. So therefore p i square zero square that is what uh, here we have zero zero divided by four and uh, sixteen divided by four plus one by four plus 49 by 4 minus t square so here this is what t here i have got summation of t as a minus 12 note on that minus 12 the whole square divided by 16 which is equal to simplify this part we are going to get 7.5 so then i am going to going uh, going to find out ssr along row so along row also i have added how many uh, observation r1 this is r1 r2 R3, R4. So, 4 elements has been uh, added here. So, therefore, a summation of uh, T square divided by 4. So, we are going to get 
So that is what 64 by 4 plus 9 by 4 plus 100 by 4 plus 49 by 4 minus of t square value is minus a t t value is minus 12. The whole square divided by 16. Be careful about uh, the squaring va this value minus 12 the whole square here. Minus 12 whole square. It is 144. It is not minus 144. It is plus 144 divided by 16. Simplifying that, I am going to get 46. Point so next I am going to find out SST. SST is given by summation xi square already uh, find out in the ta tabulation minus t square by n. Substituting that part I am going to get the value as 113. So next uh, for finding all these are uh, finding difference between for finding difference between columns and rows we have find out. For finding the sums of squares of varieties uh, between uh, the varieties we would First, rearrange the coded data in the following form. Whatever the uh, coded data we have made here in this uh, column, in this uh, tabulation, we are going to rearrange or otherwise we can just add the values of summation of uh, from the first column, take the value of A, from the second column, take the value of A, from the third column, take the value of A, For, from the fourth column also consider the value of A. That is what? So just you can consider minus 1 in the from the first column I have a value of a as minus 1 plus of in the second uh, column I have a value as minus 6 plus of in the B, uh, third column I have the value of a as 0 plus of in the fourth column I have the value of minus 5. So adding this what you are going to get minus 1 minus 6 minus 7 minus 7 minus 5 minus 12. So, minus 12 the whole square, do it uh, minus 12 the whole square, that will be 144. We can consider this as B and this will be B square. So, as I am going with the sums of squares of vari uh, varieties, I am making that value as B and B square. So, that is what I have done here. I have made this as T. You can also consider this as B, nothing to worry. You can make this as changes B and B square. As you have... Uh, then already t and t square we can make this changes as uh, instead of t to b square so that is what i have done here see here so simply instead of here rearranging this so that is what the shortcut i can uh, say you so directly add all the uh, along the columns for first a add all a's uh, and then add b along each column then add c along each column then add d along each column of those observation we have made in the tabulation so after that uh, calculate a summation of uh, b i will name this as summation of b then after going that after go, uh, having that i am going to find out ssv ssv is given by summation of t v square so see here i have defined it as t v square to uh, rectify the uh, having the difference between T and uh, B, I have made that as T V square minus uh, T square instead of uh, T square, make this as B square. So, we can make that as B, uh, summation of B square, that's all. Summation of B square. So, divided by each observation is 4 here. So, total 144 divided by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 36 by 4 plus 49 by 4 minus of minus 12 the whole square divided by 16 observation. So, simplifying that part, I am going to get 48.5. Finally, finding uh, error uh, here, so sums of squares of error. So, sums of squares of error is given by the formula SST, SST minus of all the values SSC, SSR, SSV. Simplifying this, I am going to get 10.5. So, after noting all these uh, values, go with the tabulation, finding a F ratio table, uh, source of variation. Uh, so, under source of variation, we come across with the uh, Variance between columns, various between uh, rows, uh, between varieties, residuals, or errors. So I will note down SSC value, sums of squares, SSC, SSR, SSV, SSE. Then I will find out degree of freedom. I will note down C, uh, the value called uh, C, C minus 1, do it uh, just 4 minus 1, C minus 1 will be 3, R minus 1, 4 minus 1, uh, number of uh, rows is. Uh, uh, there we have 4, 4 minus 1 and uh, the number of varieties is uh, 4 varieties, B minus 1 for between varieties, 4 minus 1 will be 3. 
So for uh, residuals, the degree of freedom is given by C minus 1 into uh, C minus 2. So C minus 1 is 4 minus 1 into 4, uh, 4 minus 2 will be 3 into 2. So that will be uh, given as 6. You are going to get degree of freedom for uh, residuals or errors is given by 6. So then find out MSC. MSC is given by SSC divided by C minus 1. We will get at 2.5. Uh, MSR is given by SSR divided by R minus 1. Similarly, MSV is given by uh, division of these two ratios, these two values. And finally, MSC is given by uh, divide SSE by and C minus 1 into C minus 2. So, we are going to get these values. Then find out FC, FR, FP. So, be careful while finding F ratio. You need to identify uh, while finding MSC, uh, while finding FC. MSC, you need to observe the value of MSC and MSE. So, which one is greater? Take it, uh, take that value as in the numerator. Here, all the values, when I compare with MSC, all the uh, remaining values are greater. So, put it uh, that value in the numerator and find the ratios of that. So, we are going to get uh, according to the table value for F of 3,6. We have there for the degree of freedom 3 and 6. We have F ratio values 4.76. So, therefore, FC, FR, FB, when I compare with those values, so here FC is less than 4.76, FR and FB are greater than that value. So, therefore, I can say that FR and FB can be rejected according to null hypothesis. Only FC is been, has been accepted in this null hypothesis. So, thus, while coming to the conclusion, I can say that thus, there is no significant difference between columns, but there is a significant difference between there is a significant difference between rows and varieties. Since it is greater than the critical value, we can say that it is uh, it is having a significant difference between rows and columns. This is how we need to solve the problems of Latin square. So I told you that I can upload uh, the another model question paper solution. In that I will give the different uh, way of uh, solving this uh, problem without going with coding method. So, thank you all for watching this video.